So as I said, I'll just give a quick rattle at these pads here. Show you what you need to know. So I have it jacked up there. I have an axle sand in under it. You can see it there. Throw the wheel in under it now in a second as well. And um, we'll do these. These pads. Now, so that there says no impact. So don't use an impact on that. <laughs> Done already. Fire the wheel in under there, just in case. Now, so you got a retainer here. Takes squeak out of the brakes, takes any slap out of them, we'd pry that off. Throw it into my little magnetic tray. After that then we want to pry off the the brakes. So I stick it into the vent in the caliper there, pull a bit of tension off them, or pull a bit of compression off them, I suppose. Next thing we want to do is pop off these caps off the back here. Shed a bit of light on this situation. If we can. Maybe we're out of charge, are we? Oh charge we oh, frished. We're off again. So we just want to pry out these caps for the slide pins. Because we'll open the slide pins is the easiest. So that's what I'm doing here. There's them two caps out. Now we'll turn the wheel. Now on we go. So what we're going to do now is put a 7mm Allen socket on this impact here. We'll rattle out them slide pins. See them there. Oh no, I'll take them all the way out because I'm going to clean them in a minute. Dose. How that one comes. Now, pull off these. So you see there, there's a bit of a life left in them, but they're scraping on the back and she wants to change too. So I'll give this an old uh, Knock these out of here. So these are the old pads. Obviously, coming out of it. There you go. Bit of weight, bit of life left in it, so I'll keep it. Um, just in case. There's that inside one. And there we go. Now, what we want to do now is we want to push back the caliper. So I'll get me a tool for pushing calipers. So here we go. This tool here. So all we want to do is push them back now. If I, if you did the other side first, which I did, you'd want to be sure that you're not going to uh, shove brake fluid out of these. So what I did is I just pumped the brakes because you were after shoving back the other two, shoving a lot of fluid back into the system. Make sure this is centered up, we get a good shove in it. Get right in the middle there. Spanner there now. Get the shove. I'm just doing it this way because I don't want any rotation on these. So that's that one. Throw these back in here. So there we go. Now we'll take our slide pins as far as the grinder. And on the day and tune first. Oh, Johnny Cash, give it to me. Now, so the way I do this is chuck these in the drill, one by one, obviously. Turn on my wire wheel. There we go. Stick a bit of lithium grease on these now. Good grease on these because it'll go dry. Sticking it. Apex or apex. There, there, there. Give them a rub together. A slap to dust off them. So this is obviously the inside here. It fits into the fits into the caliper. 
piston. So we stick that in. Make sure we've no grease left in our hands. I want to touch these with grease on you. I'm going to avoid touching the rear surface at all. There's one. And the next one is going to go on out here. Just slot in there like that. Make sure it's free. It has to be free because that's floating. And if it's not free, it'll stick on. Put a bit of copper grease down there. And up there. Put a bit of copper grease in here. Not hitting the rotor. If you hit the rotor, your brakes will not be great. You'll be lubricating them. We'll put a bit on the back here to stop squeak. There's a back and plate on them anyway, so shouldn't really matter. Slide them in. There we go. Come down here with the caliper. Stick it in, make sure it seats in there right. Which it is, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it is. Now our slide pins. Now I'll turn down my impact for these because you don't want to fucking bury these. Start them off by hand first. Because if you don't, you'll strip the threads. There we go. Now you start the bottom one off by hand. Make sure you start them by hand because... No. There's them two. Caps on the ends of the slide pin. There they are. And the last thing we have to do here now is we shove back on our uh, retainer here for these. Fucking the wrong way around. There we go. Jesus. And it's gone mad. Now I find it easiest just to shove that in there like that. Make sure that you're well in with that. Hold it in and twist it out. Shove it in. That's two pads in the front now. We'll turn back the wheel. Now we'll do a set of back pads on the same car, 2013 Civic. Ah, we've jacked up an axle standing under it there. Just going to put the wheel under it. Rattle off the wheel. Now, the back is harder done than the front. Um, and the reason the back is harder done than the front is the handbrake. This car, I had awful hassle with the car side. Well, not awful, but a bit of hassle with the car side there. Sure, you don't use an impact on that one. Um, had a bit of hassle with the far side because of the handbrake. So, we'll see what we're like this side. The tires aren't great on the inside. Shove that in under, yeah. Now, same thing back here. Pop off the cover there for the slide pins top and bottom don't forget to put them back on I did earlier now 7mm allen key again can't get in her impact this time in this make sure you're well seated in this because I stripped one of these one time years ago and they were a lot tighter but Still stripped it, still caused me ire. Now I might need to take off, I might need to take off the um, 
hang around this side because I see there that's not really attached to anything that bottom slide pin it's not going into anything I would say the hole is stripped out for the bottom slide pin now we'll push this all the way out because again I'm going to clean them what's done on one side is done on the other keep it nice and free working well yeah look nothing left in that slide pin so there's not but sure we'll see what we can do in a minute now I think the easiest thing to do on these is normally to loosen off the brake pipe off it and then loosen off the handbrake pipe or the handbrake cable sorry now I have the handbrake on at the minute I'll take it off now in a second we won't get any freedom here to work won't be able to get that caliber off these are these are 10 mil 10 mil socket two bolts in each yeah There we go. Trying against the wine back. Oh, geez, take out the retainer there as well. Now, these can be seized as well sometimes, and this one feels like it possibly might be. Let's have a look. It'll love me down. It is. These can be seized. And this one is seized. Need a new caliper on this side, I'd say. Need a new caliper on the far side in the back as well, the boot has gone off it. We'll just get it out of the way. Now, here we go. We're prying off. We're prying off the caliper off of this here. Oh yeah. There'll be more tension on the back because you can't take it off as I said. One more compression. Yep. Come out. There we go. So that's the back caliper there. Yeah, the boot's gone on this side as well. Look. So new calipers are needed. This side isn't bad as far side. That one's gone. All right. This one isn't. There's a bit of life left in it. Very little. Now, take off that boot because it's doing nothing anyway, look. And we'll tidy up the piston and it'll be back in a long way, but the next time it'll probably have to be replaced. Stick our hammer in under because I want to get a little clean. Right, now, these, some of these are reverse thread, some of them are not. Let's have a look and see what this one is. Now I tried my caliber rewind tool on this earlier on the other side and I could not rewind it. So the easiest way is just to get, a, get one of these then. And rewind it with this just staying off the face of the piston that's going back in You're
Same thing here on this side. We have back pads. Now I don't know what kind of check we're trying to focus on. Way too high. Keep on going. Now, so these are the back pads, cars motor. These particular ones are cabo. Get my rope. Slap. And these should go straight in. The thing is, you just want to put a bit of copper grease on the contact points. Very little, you don't want it on the disc. If you put it on the disc, you will have an, very few breaks. Very few breaks going on. <laughs> and try and get copper grease all over everything while you're at put a bit there and there don't touch the wear surface keep the copper grease off it now Tell me about that girl and how you loved her. So, hope we come with the caliper again. Yeah, don't fight me. Just go on, good girl. Now, oh, look spring out spring this way in now we are good girl yeah oh lovely go and get these a rub sad to the land of the pines and to my way out of North Carolina Staring at the road, see headlights. Pray to God, coasting soon. Been for Riley, I can see my baby tonight. But uh, grease, so lithium grease, good grease. Again, start these off by hand. Do what I say, you know what I do. Get my pull. Hey, ya uh, Bottom. There's something there. It's not catching fuck all. So, we'll have a go at that now in a minute. See, can we figure it out? Cold up in New England. Show back in your two covers. Bin back in this because it didn't come off right. Oh, there we go. Now, that's the back done. That they should look like that's the way they should be i'm going to fool with this here and fix this um if i can might be fixable might need a new hanger for the caliper new slide pin a few bits like that but i'm going to fool with that that is how you do it you go back on your wheel then and that's it